What is going on, everybody? This is your boy, Raw Star, and you're listening to The Misfit Effect. I am joined here with the wonderful, excellent co-host of the Burbank Misfits, CW. Hey, I'm pretty high right now, guys. And I am sitting next to a delightful individual who I met while a, a while ago um, when we were doing an event at the Playboy Matching. Um, the wonderful Bella May Ori. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> May Ori. Oh, I was crossing my fingers Reed. on that one. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, like... We talked this out like a few times. I couldn't get her name right, but got it right the first time. So tell uh, the universe out there, uh, our view listeners and everybody, who you are and what you stand for. Okay. Well, my name is Bella Mayor, of course, and I'm an, I'm an actress and a model, but I really refer to myself as a black feminist activist and an advocate for social justice and change. Okay. Uh that was a lot to take in. So uh, <laughs> no, because like, no, because like, I've, 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 I've seen I've seen her acting roles before, and like as far as it was one where you were um, playing like a butch. Oh, I was a lesbian. Uh, butch lesbian, <laughs> and it's like it just goes hand in hand with what you just said, just because. I what? Remember, <laughs> it goes, yeah. wait, it goes hand in hand. Yeah, how no. does that go hand in hand? With I mean, you? I mean, I mean, like, with I mean, social justice. No, no, no. With fem, the, fem, like, the, fem, like, the feminist like, side, whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah. The 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 black feminist. Yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, That's listen. My point, is, like, my point is, my point is, my point is, my point is, my point is this: you're black feminist. You must not like dudes. No, 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 no. What I meant was all right. What I 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 meant was they get a lot of uh, people who are uh, lesbians get a lot of uh, hate because of that and they don't get the, some of the rights that they deserve. Because they're black feminists? No, because they're lesbians. And then oh. people put them into that category because they are demanding their right and they automatically say, oh, you must be this or that. Yeah, they just assume. That's true. Yeah, it's true. See? See? So. It it works. <laughs> I'm sure. aware of what's going on. Don't don't try to well, doubt me. I'm I got some education. I did go to college. Yes, you did, George. You have a lot of education. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell you. I got you. all these degrees. But Man, I think I'm one up on you. Oh, I don't. I, I no. No, you're not. How many? Do, okay, let's see. I have a bachelor's. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we going to sit up here and debate? <laughs> yes, we are. Are we, are we going to debate degrees? They pulling out they're degree dicks. <laughs> I have a bachelor's in English don't literature, make, don't a master's make, in fine arts. Don't make me Kanye West you. Master's in education, and I'm in my second year PhD candidate. Right now. Okay, okay, I'm a Kanye West you. <laughs> I have two bachelors, three minors, a certificate, two masters, and I'm a doctoral candidate. Thank you That's very a lot much. Of quality, but is it quantity? No, I'm just kidding. It's no, it's quality. I, I said know, I'm two, three, <laughs> two, three, one, two, one. No, 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 no. Yeah, I will, you are so smart. I will, I my name is Raw Star, and I'm Kanye okay. West. You. I will Kanye West you. Raw Star. <laughs> don't Kanye West me, okay? You don't want to be Kanye West. Me. <laughs> I'm going to die with my degrees. Okay, you they might keep, be up on they, me in a couple of certificates there. <laughs> <laughs> they, my degrees keep me warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. School's whack. <laughs> You got a degree too. So. I have two, but I don't want to talk about <laughs> well, you it. You got to tell us your degrees. You got you to gotta list it. <laughs> no, I have a degree, a uh, bachelor's in psychology and a bachelor's in sociology. See, he knows the uh, mind. That's probably why he's so quiet because he's filling all this stuff I'm out. Running gym. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, do. I mean, I didn't say what my degrees was in. I just named how many because it's a long, that's a long list. Oh, right. yeah, they do have some. They have some long names like long. like telecommunications is one of the yeah. and then ethnomusicology. He's oh, got yeah. George's got some great degrees. He also has some football player degrees. Yeah. I do not have no fo- <laughs> I have a degree in, I have a degree in history. I have a degree in history. That is a hard degree cuz I had to learn. And that's the reason I had a and Major and that is and that, and that is and that and that is and that is why I had a full that is kind of why I had a full ride because I won history bowls because I knew my history. Yeah. Wait, 
Yep. But didn't I beat you in a black knowledge? No, game? you did not beat me in no we're black knowledge, bro. Team? We weren't never on team together. You sure? Oh yeah, then I, I beat you that year. No, I because I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't you even. Didn't do it? I wasn't you didn't even it? around. You weren't hanging out with the Sigmas. I was, but not. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh. <laughs> you guys act like an old married couple. I mean, like, <laughs> I've, 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 I've only lost one history. I've only lost. I've only lost one history bow, and that was a BS question, and that was to uh, to the uh, uh, Alpha. Um, Where was it? When was it? Oh, where was oh, it? It was Neil Marshall. Yeah. No, it was. It lost it to the when, like O two. O two. Yeah. I don't know what this is about. I have no idea what you guys are He's doing. like, I lost to okay, you. Um, he wanted to be like, what's his name? Like, you know what's his name? I can't you know think of funny I can't, what's his I can't name? Think of, I can't from, think of his name From right my IU, what's his name? <laughs> wow, we're really putting it out there. I wonder. Call in. <laughs> oh, wait, we don't have phones. Yeah. So, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> okay. Tell us more about you, because we always get wrapped up in what George wants to talk about. Stop calling my, my government I mean, name. excuse me. Well, um, <clears throat> Poppy Raw Star. I guess my goal is to um, kind of change the narrative in terms of how people view African American women. And that consists of sexuality, um, education, and just how black women are perceived and just in that identity and that role. And I want it to be something that should be something that's prideful, that it should be something that's. Um, appreciate it and not shameful. So that's why I'm just really comfortable with my body. You know, I don't care about things like that. Um, because I just, if there's an agency in that, there's a freedom in that. And that's what I'm actually researching for my PhD right now is just um, a identity and what that means for black women in America. You know, sexuality and perception. Because I think, I, think uh, I know we spoke uh, briefly about uh, Audre Lord. And her writing and stuff like that mm -hmm. about how you look really confused. <laughs> no, I'm not confused. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't there. <laughs> no, They're like, uh, you know, we spoke briefly. I was no, like, because like we <laughs> spoke about R.G. Lord, and did, she's yeah. a, a writer that talked about a lot of the stuff yeah. that she is going to write. I know you recommended me to listen to someone else. I didn't get the opportunity. Patricia to. Hill Collins, Dr. Patricia Hill Collins, Black Feminist Thought. She's dope. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't had the opportunity to listen to her yet, but I know some along the lines of what you were referring to. Mm -hmm. But even like as a male, I can't, I can be aware of uh, what is going on on that side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. But since I can't actually live that, since I'm a straight male, male I can't really relate fully to it. Right. Well, I mean, I guess, but, <laughs> what is it like? but I guess with that, it why would be, not? you just have to kind of. Because, well, you said, why not? Because, like, the thing is, it's like, uh, I understand what some women go through, you know, mm -hmm. with the entire uh, people automatically, first of all, they sexualize them, and then after they sexualize them, they put them into, into some category. Right. And they probably aren't even remotely like this or the and or that, you yeah. know. And because they already put them in that category, they shame them because they believe or have this belief about certain people. And it's not necessarily always true. Or it might not even be remotely true about the person. Like people might see someone take a... a like a model picture of them in a bikini and or someone who d who's okay with doing new modeling or someone who's okay with doing this or that. And if they are okay with doing new modeling or implied new modeling, they already say, oh, this person must be a, a, a slut or, right. or, or they're this or that or they put out to everybody that they see or they're having sex with everybody to get, them, get their way to the top. Right. But some of these people are all, already putting in work yeah. to get this and that and they're just okay with who they are internally and externally right. even if they aren't the bee's knees externally or the bee's knees in, um, internally you know right. so it's just a perception that everybody puts upon them and being a male you know we automatically don't all we don't fall into such categories as easy as uh, I was going to say I just I, for myself, I have fallen exactly to that 
very scenario you said, like someone if comfortable you see somebody, with new modeling, then you think and then that someone has a perception of them of being like, oh, this, that, or that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, said, what's, it, what's that as easy, though? Yeah. If you look at, okay, like, for example, if you look at me, right, you wouldn't think I would be, like, modeling new, right? Would you? No. Okay, well, that's, that's see, that's why... Went, nah, you look like you busted open. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know, modeling. No, don't, don't, well, no, I'm, I'm going to respond to that. I'm going to respond to that because modeling nude and busting it open is two different things. I know, I know, I know. So, it's, it's, no, I haven't busted it open because busting it open, that's for the person that's going to see my vagina. But modeling, oh, I it's, got, it's I a guess little I different think nude. About it. it's, yeah. yeah. See, you you combining oh, no. busting it open with nude we, modeling. We actually have. <laughs> what you were just we talking a, about. We have actually different. <laughs> Busting it open. What is your definition of busting it open? I was thinking more of somebody like popping it. Like twerking? Yeah. Okay, well, that's that's, that's different. Yeah. You, okay, so you mean like twerking dancing or just yeah. twerking? Yeah, or, or more like... Or twerking having on, on Actually having more of like or, being free. Yeah. Just, yeah, I don't really... Th- I don't... Yeah, I don't really... So the, you, really you mean a freedom like super in... Sexualizes. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that, though. No, I'm yeah, saying... Yeah, yeah. Right. There's, that's the problem, I think, especially with black women. It's like this thing... Oh, she's a thought. She's she's not valuable enough. She's not, you know, she's just not valued because you're twerking, because you have a nice body, because you're pretty. Then you're just like dismissed, and you're not smart. You don't have anything else up in your mind that's going for you that can, you know, validate you as somebody important. So that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to mm-hmm. change. I'm trying to change that narrative. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to be um, a thought or or seemed as a thought to be you know, pose nude or show your body or be represented in a way explicitly and you don't have to be a hoe, you know? I mean, I'm mean, i not a hoe. And it, and now, I mean, it's nothing wrong with being a hoe if you want to be a hoe, but <laughs> some people like being hoes. Are we talking about sex workers? <laughs> no, I'm talking about talking the, the, the traditional are, hoe mm. definition, you know, about the girls that, like, or people that just kind of sleep. personally... This is good. This is interesting. We're talking about a hoe. I personally think being a hoe is not good. And let me explain. When I say hoe, I'm not talking to someone that is sexually open and sexually free. Because we got to face something that's certain with people that's like, yeah, okay, maybe I'm a hoe, or even to do like I'm a hoe. Um, usually, it's never used in a positive connotation, <laughs> and. A lot of times people forget the people these hoes encounter that aren't on both sides, that aren't like, hey, I'm messing with a hoe. I didn't, I didn't know. I thought I might have been entering in a monogamous relationship. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, it's nothing, like I said, it, yeah, it's, you're, it's nothing wrong being a hoe. Yeah, if that's As long what as you you're mean. honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, but if you, you need the H-O yeah. in honesty. No, I mean, like, I'm, you need to reveal your wholeness yeah. to the person that might not want to be okay with you being a hoe. You <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you, this person, and this person. You know what I'm Are you okay with that? I mean, I know, I, I hey, know, but, I, but, I, do, but I, do, I do know some people who have turned hoes into housewives for real, and they accept their hoeing. Who? See, uh, see, that's the thing. Who? Cool, name one person. Well, <laughs> never mind. That's what <laughs> I can describe one person, yeah, and, he'll, and, and, and he'll know who I'm talking friends. about. I got friends. That I guess if <laughs> you saw it back, you'd be like, she's a fucking hoe, or he's a hoe. But they're not. Be- I don't consider them hoes because they're like, I know. I never was like right. lying to anybody. I never gave anybody any illusions that, like, I was going to stick around or anything. Right, right. So when somebody be- enters into a relationship, like, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm getting married. It's like, it's different than somebody's like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, I've always had a relationship, but I'm always cheating and I'm always, you know, selling people's dreams. Yeah. And then... Well, that's it. That's a, that's then a, I don't think that person really becomes a housewife yeah. or a hus- a good husband. They need to deal with some things. Yeah, first. they got some issues. Yeah. Yeah. But the person that's just like, hey, I'm not gonna be tied down and then until I wanna be tied down. I wish I could, I wish like, I could oh, say okay. some names right well, now. See, that's how I feel. I don't wanna yeah. be tied down. For people who yeah, like that doesn't you mean, be tied down. Yeah, for, and I think the person. Yeah. I think for I was people, talking to Raw Star about that. How I don't wanna get married and I don't wanna be t- you know, like tied down like that. I just wanna be my own person. I don't want I, I like I'm I can't take it. 
Like, I don't want to breathe, nobody breathing on me. And, <laughs> you know, I turn around and they're like, this motherfucker breath high. I can't do it. It's high. I can't do and it. I want to do it in the morning. Ugh. You uh, see, I can't do it. God. Don't touch I, me. He yeah, breathing with his, he's sleeping touch. with his mouth open. He's got a finger in there. Ugh. It's about to be high. Know. It's about to be high. His breath's so high. No, I mean, I think it's just some people who, I mean, Why well, you I. you like this? My shoulder. No. <laughs> Well, no, I have a theory behind that. I don't think we're supposed to be with one person. I don't think that. I don't think humanity... I mean, it's like... That's a westernized ideal that's placed on society to say you have to be monogamous with one person. So you're really in support of uh, polygamy then? No, no, no. I mean, like... I'm talking about in terms more of commitment. More like polyamory? No. No. You mean... You can, wait, love, okay. you can love more than one person. You could love... You could be in... Love, that, who says you're only supposed... That's why... Nobody works out in relationships. All these divorces, because people are telling you you're supposed to be with this person. For I mean, mm-hmm. you can't be with one per- person for the. Do you listen to the same song for well, the rest of your I life? Like you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you when, over and over and over and over. I can. Feel like with that. <laughs> Not because to work, you'd have to grow up in the society or raise people in a, a community that doesn't place so much. Uh, on possession. Yeah, well, that's the because thing. It's a, it's a, like, it's imposed. Even in polyamorous relationships, people are like, well, hey, I'm supposed to be with you Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. You weren't with me Tuesday. Yeah. What the fuck? There's still an ex- well, yeah, expectation. Yeah, there's the expectation. Like, yeah. Sh- sh- Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Bill. I used, hey, I, I used to love Big Love. <laughs> you did? Yeah, that was my show. Yeah. I mean that's different. It's a little cult. It's like kind of culty. Creepy. Yeah, that's culty. That's like culty, culty. creepy. That's culty. But I mean, in just terms of like someone owning you, like having pa- like this guy told me one time, I'm gonna have some papers on you, and I'm like, what? 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 Yeah, yeah. He told what me. What does that like, mean? I have some papers on you. What does that mean? I was like, what? What does that even that mean? That just tripped me out. No, what does that mean though? Having papers on you, like yeah. I guess married. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he wants to have some papers. I want to be. <laughs> Wow, he really broke down marriage like that. He I was, was like, like, I want to include you in a legally binding contract with me where we have to share our assets. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. Hell I need these papers. no. Hell no. Never. Never. I'm never going to do that. I'm, you know, I, I don't think I need to. Like, yeah, I don't think I need to. <laughs> like, you know, I'm with my girlfriend. Yeah. I've been with her for a while. Yeah. If, like, at this point, Yes, she has more money than me, for sure. Like a lot more. <laughs> but I ain't trying to, like I don't need to be like, hey, you, hey, I need this paper. I need to have this big celebration that costs a lot of money for one day, so we can show everybody justify that our yeah. love, babe. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You when know, you it's think not about the years it. before, yeah. years of commitment before. It's not that. Yeah. It's this marriage. It's this this wedding. Excuse yeah, me. I can't. Well, like, why should somebody get all Here's your... $10,000 for flowers. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Like, why, was some, why should somebody get all of, like, half of your money? Because you you have a paper because, that says you're married. Well, that I'm, is, I'm, I'm like... Here's half my money for fucking me exclusively. That's now nuts. Now you fuck me one last time. That's like, nuts. Like, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> Like that's that, kind of crazy. I, under, like, I understand it. Like, hey, that's ridiculous. You want to? I need a prenup. I'd be like, well, shit. I mean, you should. Okay. Give, you yeah, should like want to. You, you can take this shit. This shit. You should give somebody yeah. what you want to give them, yeah, not what the right. court tells you. Well, oh, like, you got to get this person fifty, well, got yeah. 50 yeah. grand. On like, like on what like, the hell? on like, on like one end, I can see the purpose of it. Mm-hmm. On the other end, I understand what you're coming from. Like on the end, of that, like I see the purpose of it is like. Well, I mean, if people aren't working and stuff, and they're like, it's like, for example, if, after. for example, let's say like I own this company, whatever, and I get married to Yaya, and so Yaya and I. Are together, and I built this, and she supports me the entire time. Mm-hmm. Her name is just not on any of the records because I'm doing all the all the whatever. And then, like after like 15 years, whatever, it's you know it just doesn't work out. But she hasn't worked because I told her, baby, I got you, I got this, you know. And she didn't work, whatever. So she has nothing. And so I can understand like whatever, and she still got to take care of children, especially if they award her custody of the children whatever so is is that that adds up do i feel that some of the awards are crazy 
Yes. Right. For example, Nav and Khalees. Oh, God. Crazy. Crazy. Um, oh, my God. What was that one? Well, that we, I mean, we if you want money, time? you better be my lover and my secretary. But look, but look some people don't even break Working up because they're like, it's going to cost me too every much. Every day of so the week. So, I mean, you're supposed to suffer and be with somebody that you don't want to be with because you're afraid that you're going to have to pay them alimony and child support? Yeah, because people That's love money. crazy. That's crazy. I can't. I can't live like. I'm free. I can't live live like that. I mean, because you feel like okay. That's I spent, You spent all this time, right, making this money. You can't get that time back. So people are. I think people aren't realizing that they're pissed about all the time and things they didn't enjoy with this time they put in making this money, and now they're gonna give it to someone that they don't even fucking like anymore. Right. Right. They're like, oh, I gotta give this motherfucker half. For we're getting we're breaking up. Yeah, yeah like, like it, 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 I want to give him half of what I, I got to give him Michael half of Jordan what I wife. Still you know gets what? Money. Yeah. I think I might kill like, this person. Like, and people's lives are just like destroyed after this. Like they're just I don't understand they're, like, that. They're devastated. I don't understand, I don't understand that. that. I don't understand that. I like, feel I met some people and they're like, I'm devastated, and I'm like, what happened? And it's like my my parents got divorced, and they're like, <laughs> what? And then I'm like. Oh, fuck you, 25. Well, I don't understand. They just been together my whole life. Yeah. Yeah, things change. Yeah. Things change, bro. It's a lot that goes into that, though. Yeah, people be like, <laughs> what? And then you talk to them, and they be like, didn't you hate them together? Yeah. Like, yeah. you look back and be like, a few years later, like, you know, my mom's, my, my mom's husband, Jim, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> and, you know, my dad, he's an asshole. I fucking hate him. And you know the next person, whoever's with whoever, they're benefiting still from the money that, like you said, Michael Jordan, he's still yeah. giving her money. And yeah, she would, his wife. Well, well, she's not remarried. <laughs> like it go, I think I think it stops when they get remarried. Right. Oh yeah, Juanita, well, I mean, like nah, 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 I'm though, good. Right? Uh, so I mean, but see, oh, I mean, what I mean, does. that's the thing. It depends on how involved you were. Like if I'm sitting there and you, you're not working, whatever. And like uh, Killer Mike said, like he he was talking to his girl and he like wanted to get a new car and she was like, no, buy this um, like multi uh, multi unit apartment building, and now it's worth more money. Yeah. Well, shit, yeah, you you definitely you deserve some money because you made me money. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're just like, eh, I'm tricking off cash and now you give it, you deserve me half. Yeah. No. It should be under discretion, right? A certain yeah, discretion. a certain discretion. Yeah. Like where does it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, but if I have like, like a lot of money, like, and right. I'm like, okay, well, let's say we we end up being married eight years, I get eight million dollars. See, the thing is, some people uh, get like, married just for that. For like, <laughs> yeah, some people, for, that's the thing. for what like, I was for what I was saying a earlier, baby, having a baby, she like, yeah. I feel, that, oh, and that's why a life, he secured a bag. And that's why that's, like, that's, that's, that's why I feel that I some need of the, fifty thousand a month to raise his kid. That's why I feel Your some of the. Your mama raised you uh, on twenty three thousand dollars. Less than that. A year, <laughs> a year, and she like I need fifty thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. A month. Fifty thousand a month, Yana. And then be going back. I need more because he's growing. He's yeah. growing more. And then he's turning to hit puberty. I, what? What? I need twenty thousand. So what? I, did my mama need to make twenty more thousand dollars when I hit puberty? Like. Damn, you know, he get a little hair on his balls. They need some more money. They need some more money around here. The argument always is, is like, I started this lifestyle, and I wanted to keep this lifestyle. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to go back. I don't want to revert back. This this is my lifestyle. Man, you better Rocky Five it. (laughs) You better go back to the hood. (laughs) Rocky Five it. But it's, 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 but you know, to be honest, it's also ridiculous on the other side, because... Fort Wayne is a real bad place for bad, bad child support judgments. I know motherfuckers paying fifty nine dollars a month wow. and missing payments, and wow. they be like, "Hey, he be like, hey man." But you know what? You gotta, I mean, you gotta, I mean, <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, hiding their jobs. Like, the, nah, I ain't the, trying to pay out this. The thing this, is, they the thing is, escape it only this boost mobile the, bill the, the, of the, child support. The thing, the, the, the thing is, the, 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 the thing, the thing is, I know somebody. I know somebody who got one kid with somebody, and from Fort Wayne, and they're making him pay like, like uh, four twenty every two weeks. Dang, that's expensive. Four twenty every two weeks. Shit. While he's yeah. in jail, is he? In jail? I mean, but. See, but he's he's famous. I mean, this is this is a, a regular person who works at a car dealership. Hey, 
You got money, you get that. You better get no. it adjusted. Yeah, I mean, you better get it adjusted. And then what about when your they see? Honor, your honor. What about the, when they see? And the baby's not even a year old. And they take them back to court. And the baby's not even a year old yet. Adjustment. That's when you be like, hey, call the rooms. And baby's not even a year old yet. So. Not even here yet. But see, here's the thing. In Indiana, if you don't apply, if you don't apply for child support, you can't get. Uh, Support. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not denying the fact that he should no, pay child support. I feel that the amount. I feel the amount that he. I feel the amount that he is paying is upset. Uh, uh, it's excessive, mainly also because it's like based on his income, right? He doesn't like. He is got to be based on his income, or he in jail right now, right? Like he 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 barely like he makes enough to have probably about enough for rent after. Shit, that's still pretty good. Wow. But that still sucks, man. We need to get adjustment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I kept telling them. So, and the baby, I said, baby's not even a year old yet. So, you know, me personally, when I think about that stuff, I'd be like, well, I really am kind of lazy. So, I'm trying to set up my life so I don't really have to work that much. So, I'll go ahead and take custody. I can, I, and I can, I can see, I can see if he had more than one kid with the woman, with the I'll girl. Raise him. But, that's almost as much as my friend who had, by my friend, my cousin who has seven kids, and he pays like less than that per kid. Hey, some people pay, you know, some people know how to hustle it or be like, oh, well, okay, so I've known people be like, oh, well, I'm going to wait till I get this six job kids, six kids. He paid after six. my court date, and then that's the way they'll adjust my thing because I ain't working right now so it'll be low <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and get there. You know, he told me to just wait till you know, next month so I can avoid that. And then I won't have to pay for the being I made. Like this. The person, the, the person that needs the, my support. The, per, the person who that I, sees me as a parent. The person who no, I just did, I need who to has avoid kids. taking any financial like, responsibility for me. Oh, person. they don't like me when I'm older? I don't get it. He has a better job than a person paying, who's paying the more amount. The person who has six kids, and he's paying less per kid than the person. He got six kids. He has nine kids, actually. But, he's got nine kids. But only six. Of, got nine kids. But only six of them are um, on child support. Yeah, because they're, oh, the other ones are over eighteen. He got six kids on child support. I'm sure it balances out somewhere, man. That's insane. Six kids that on child insane. support. Wrap that, it up. My one, 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 my my oldest brother has like ten. I, I think like ten kids. Well, you know what? Across the whole, world. I, think, I don't get I it. I think that whole child support situation is a form of oppression. I don't think you should go to jail for it. Yeah, and, and because how how you, you have all these laws, but then if you buy, if they can't pay, then and you put them in jail, how are they going to take care of their kids? Yeah, you put them in a real situation yeah. where it they can't pay further on. Yeah. And then they, get, and yeah. then they, and they still and get then, taxed you know, while they're in there. Yeah. Yeah, they put, and interest, I don't want to get in there. And then they put just takes the black man out of the household. I don't want to get all in that, but but we know how. Then that's full circle. Yeah, full circle. Like, it's yeah. just like, hey, yeah. let's just break this whole thing down. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it kind of starts monetizing, like, yeah, your affection for a your child. Yeah, like, yeah. If it's like, hey. You ain't like you don't pay child support. You don't love your kid. Like, you know, what? Yeah. And when did when did when did love start uh, uh, loving a child being based on your income? I mean, you have to take sure. care of a child. That's that's a given. Yeah. But I mean, when did it say, "Oh, you didn't pay, if you can't pay $300 a month, you don't love your kid?" That's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy. I can't. So, and like this is my thing People also. People don't think about that. I feel yeah. that and like they, and they get crazy child support is ruining men's lives and I'm not trying to excuse the behavior but you put people in a, you put a group of people in a situation that don't have opportunity. Then you zoom in and you say okay, uh, this, these are broken homes because of things that are going on. You know, we won't get all in all that. But then you're like, okay, you have to pay. You have two, three kids by this girl. You got to pay three hundred dollars for each kid. You can't do it. So you're gonna get arrested. You take your license away. You can't work. I mean, it's a cycle. It is. It is something like, to that. Like, yeah. don't give me, don't give me wrong. I, I, I feel, I, I, I feel, I feel that you know, child support is needed for, especially for for some people, because you know, especially if they're a single person, yeah. they have this house or whatever, and they need to take care of a child, and they need a little bit of assistance. Yeah, I have no problem with that, um, but because I also feel that there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, donors out there yeah. Oh, yeah. that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that donate, and then 
they don't see their, yeah. they never, whatever. And That's why it was established, but it's somehow yeah. along the way, it's just gotten, like, that system is broken. I don't well, think it should go beyond a garnish, even if it goes there, a yeah. garnishment of wages. Yeah. It shouldn't yeah. go like, okay, so you ain't paying child support, go to jail for six yeah. months? yeah. And then How, have a, and then have it be on like you gotta pay. Yeah, and no. then you come out. My brother Javon, he yeah. went to prison, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, you had all this child support, you gotta pay." He didn't go to prison for child support, but it was just like the state has a record of him being incarcerated. Yeah. And then you're like, "Yeah, I mean, I would at least think that would be an adjustment for those yeah, years yeah. when a motherfucker was making eight cents an hour." Yeah, yeah. And then he comes out with even more child support yeah, because yeah. the interest. I think he <laughs> that has occurred on it while he was incarcerated. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, what is sad? What I think is sad he just is get finished paying. You back, still got to pay it back like after they turn eighteen if you still owed money. Oh money. yeah, the back child support. And yeah. then back child support is crazy. And then they have to pay back the county. So that's back child support, back child support to the county, and future child support. It's and, crazy. And how are you supposed to do that if you don't? If you can't? If you're unemployable, it, how are you supposed to do that? You can't. You can't. So you go out there and you rob somebody. <laughs> yeah, they're back. like, so what are these six months gaps in your employment <laughs> yeah, history? Like, and you're like, like, oh, uh, like, I was like, in I'm jail a, for yeah, child support twice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, look at, look at oh, me okay. like, I'm the one who so you don't take care. You don't take care of your responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and then it makes it look like they're yeah, like, like they're like oh, losers or whatever. Yeah, and what is the definition of a deadbeat dad though? I mean, we all know there are people who don't take care of their kids, and that, that can go across the that, board. But what is a, a deadbeat dad who can't afford to pay child yeah. support because he can't get a job or because they keep firing him because he owes child support? I consider I consider a deadbeat parent somebody who uh, doesn't want to do anything for their child. Yeah, period. that's a deadbeat. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. I feel I agree, that yeah. like someone who feels that because they do pay child support, that they are doing enough. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Just I don't a, like that yeah. that too much either. So that's a good. I point. feel I feel those two are two main mm-hmm. characteristics of a deadbeat parent. Yeah. Send now you, I don't know. Just send Johnny a check. Now I gotta be there. Now I, and this <laughs> now, goes back into our monetizing things because I mean if I'm over the paying like five thousand dollars a month, I. <laughs> You better not call me no deadbeat dad. <laughs> you better not call me a deadbeat dad you know if I'm like, enough, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Never no, enough it's never enough because the baby mama okay, or the wife a, is going to be like, well, you never spend time with him. I never spend time with him. Chris. But see, that's the thing, too, you know, it's that never we don't enough. address sometimes is that, like, some of these, like, moms are like, I don't know how to communicate and say the things that I need to say. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this child to convey my emotions. Yeah. Men and women do that. Parents yeah, yeah. do that. But yeah. like, they use it's just like, pond. you can't use this child as a tool and mm-hmm. being like, oh, your daddy don't want to see yeah. it. And he's sitting there outside the gate of the school like. Yeah, and he really want to see his daddy so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I, 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 like, I've known people that had mm-hmm. to be like, let me, I got to sneak these uh, sneakers up to my son at the school. Yeah, like, yeah. You're like, what? R- what? <laughs> you got you got to do that shit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or like, yeah, or yeah. Or you gotta like, meet him at a or school, like, sneak and see him and stuff. I know a situation where uh, a guy I know he got stopped by the police. They found a pill in his car. It turned to be out. It turned to be like a Benadryl or something like that. But they locked him up for the day. He was on his way to his son's birthday party. His son just all he knows is his dad didn't show up at his birthday party. Right. Mom, I like her, but doesn't explain. Doesn't oh explain that, like, oh, yeah, yeah, they stopped him and locked him up. And, yeah. yeah, so it's not his fault. He was on his way. Nope, doesn't explain. Just let us, just let yeah. the kid fester with it. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, so when he was in his 20s, yeah. that's when you, y'all explain and yeah. it becomes cool. That, like, co- that causes things. That, causes that, 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 that builds up, like, anger. Yeah. Because you're not explaining to that child what really happened. happened. And they yeah. think you're that they're using it as a, like, yeah. like. And they be doing that on purpose. parents. It's not yeah. A thing, like yeah. I know some people feel like I can love this person, or like that's the thing with possession or yeah. whatever. But like, you can love both your fucking parents a lot. Yeah, they make the kid feel guilty for loving both parents. Yeah, like <laughs> he like, don't do anything for you. I, I feed you every day, so yeah. I, yeah, I just want to um, love the person I see in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just listening. 
Like for no, real. I mean, I'm gonna wait and say like, something first. You gonna demonize a person like because that's what people do. Like yeah, it's true. Be like you demonizing a person. I see yeah. every day yeah. when I look at myself. See the thing is like, I wanna... how does that make me feel about myself? Terrible. Yeah, gonna yeah, be, yeah. You're, gonna be... you're just like your motherfucking daddy. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a good thing, huh? Yeah, I've been, I've been, like, yeah you're like, oh. oh. <laughs> I've, been, oh. I've been wanting to say this real I'm quick. no good. But, like, earlier when you were saying this, like, you said I give you 5000 a month and you better not, like, call me a deadbeat. <laughs> yeah. I've been holding on to this comment. The thing, <laughs> the thing, the thing, the thing, is, the thing is, yes, you can give me 5000 a month, but if I want to see you, if I want to see your human form, and I constantly try to reach out, to see and visit your human form, and you n- don't let me do that, I feel that like you getting five thousand a month. You can't track me down. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can fade. My, my, my That's point is supposed to be for you. Oh, I got to make time for you. Hey, I'm giving you five thousand dollars, bro. Yeah, but I want to see find you. Me, you the child. <laughs> No, and that's how a lot of oh, motherfuckers no, are. They no. be like, uh, my kid don't call me. He don't call me, so why I got to call him? Because he's a fucking child. He's inherently selfish. Kids all, he just learned to stop shitting on himself. But you like, know what's crazy? Nobody's ever taught how to be a parent. you to wipe him. You know, nobody's ever taught how to be a parent. And no. so this, this is a result of just decades and years and years of just terrible parenting. And it's just passed down. Yeah, passed down. yeah. We, and everybody like at this point is just crazy. They're crazy. Yeah. And the kids are just there. No, because you look back. You look. You look back, and then as an adult, and you see your friends have kids, mm-hmm. and then you be like, "Oh, this motherfucking shit was going on when I was a kid yeah. with my parents and their adults." Yeah, yeah. Like people are like, "Oh, my motherfucking mama was crazy," and you be like, "Oh, I think she's a nice lady," and then you be like, "Well, you weren't around in the '90s," and it's like, "Whoa, wow." Because your parents are just your fr- your parents are just like your friends now. Well, they're people. Yeah, they're just yeah. people. When they're you like, get older, yeah, you're man. Just like, oh, that's just no, another no good dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just happens to be my father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like the rest of. Them. <laughs> I, I get that. Though. Like so, yeah, like oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So you this ty- yeah. type of woman, huh? Yeah, we that was because- my mom. What? Yeah, we thought because it's a mom, or they're supposed to be different. Yeah, but they're just like everybody else out there. <laughs> I just see you in a different, yeah, just a different light, just a different role. That's what, I, yeah, that's what I'm like what? Yeah, that's that's the that's the thing. Yeah, you look at your family. Like I remember, mm-hmm. I was you you think like things are perfect and supposed to work out. I remember I was asking, I think one of my sisters about something like a romance, and she was like, I "Don't want to talk about it." And I was like, "What went wrong? I don't understand." <laughs> What went wrong? And I was like, oh, later on I realized, oh, it was your fault. <laughs> you didn't want to talk about it. But yeah. you think like, oh, it can't be my yeah. mother or whatever, my favorite parent or my sibling's yeah, fault. Yeah, it's got to yeah. be something out right. there. It's families. It's, they, Which is beautiful. but actually, <laughs> Families are fucking up their kids. Yeah. And then the kids are messed up from the family. And then they get out in the real world and they get messed up from that. So you don't, just, you don't got a chance. <laughs> like, no. Know, like, my yeah, that's true. It'd be up. hard. You'd be like, I'm trying. All I'm trying to do is, you'd be like, oh, I'm looking for somebody different from my family. And then you go out in the world and you'd be like, oh, I don't understand. These motherfuckers got weird values and shit. I need to find somebody <laughs> like me. I'd be looking like, hey, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait. You don't understand that? Yeah. You mean, what? What? I, I got to explain shit? Yeah. You don't just, I just, I said, uh, I looked you, I gave you the look. I gave you the look <laughs> and you didn't move. What the fuck is wrong with you? You be kind of. Oh, crazy. because we use yeah. words in my family. Why y'all do all that goddamn mm-hmm. talking? Yeah. I thought everything I did, I was going to go to hell because I was told that I was going yeah, to go to hell. Yeah. I, no, I'm serious. Oh, shit. And so I grew up, like, thinking that everything I did, I was going to go to hell. Until I got, like, I went to college and stuff, and I was like, what the hell are they talking about? You know, like, I, my mind started opening, but, like, some people stay trapped in yeah, that Yeah, they were like, that's, that's yeah, stressful. That's stressful. That's stressful. You see, I'm like, forget it. I got to catastrophize I, 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 the, the thing is, like, I got away with a lot of stuff when no I was a good. kid. <laughs> you be like, but I like it. It's not hurting anybody. But oh, you go to it's hell. hurting God. <laughs> going to hell. You're going to hell. <laughs> see, I, you like, can't eat that. You're going you to hell. You're going to hell. <laughs> see, the thing is, <laughs> because, that shit got because, because, because of where, mm, yeah. I mean, I mean, because where I was on my, on my family, because I have a ridiculously huge family. See, I got away with a lot of crap. Because you're like the youngest, ain't you? 
I'm on I'm on my mother's youngest, my 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 dad's only. But the thing is, it's like we're my, talking about even the uh, like my grandkids. No, my my granddad had thirteen kids by himself. Oh, jeez, your by grandfather him, was a rock by himself. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like from your your, your big mama. <laughs> No, I'm not. You're not. No, the youngest grandkid. Who's the youngest no, grandkid? No, I'm. I'm probably the seventeenth of. What? Of I want to oh. say probably. Uh, Who is 40, younger than you? Forty three. <laughs> who's younger? Who's younger than you? A <laughs> lot of folks are younger than me. Oh yeah, your cousin that was living here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know, big families are nice. Well, no, she she's my second cousin. She's my cousin's daughter. Yeah. So who's younger than you? How old is your cousin? That 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 one is okay. that one's so twenty like twenty six. And how many fucking grandkids? Like forty three. I'm talking about from your, wow. your forty three. Oh, yeah, she did have like a bunch of kids. She, too. Like I'm saying, like my granddad had thirteen kids on both sides. It's crazy. Anyway, but he had thirty. Like I'm like seventeen of like the forty three. And then you got to take an effect that all those kids got kids, and those kids oh, got kids goodness. now, and one of those kids got kids now. <laughs> So it's like, I have a huge family. So where I was in the spectrum, it was like, everybody was already wilding, you know. And, like, it was like, I'm here. And, like, I'm probably, like, the, like, the opposite of most of my family. But I'm still, like, you know, a whore. But the thing is. Wow. He's going to hell. He's going to hell. The thing, <laughs> it, 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 the, the thing, is, the thing is, is, though, everybody wasn't worried about Little Raw. They were just worried about everybody else because I was the only one that wasn't getting in trouble constantly. So I, I can I got away with a lot of dirt and I wasn't chastised. And oh, okay. you're going to, you're going to. So um, you didn't no, feel that guilt that nah. I felt because my father was a minister. I mean, I wasn't. So maybe that's why I take my clothes. I've been. <laughs> I've been <laughs> and we didn't even get a chance to get on that, and we're at 42 minutes. Maybe that explains um, everything. Wow. <laughs> no, I, I got I got away, I got away with a lot of dirt when I was a kid, uh, mainly because I wasn't the. Um, the baby and I wasn't the youngest but the thing is I was right in the middle so like and when I had my little baby scare when I was in high school like I got away with then I had to fly under the radar because two of my other cousins just had kids Damn, and it was so to do? where are you from? from Indiana what does this do out there? fuck <laughs> We have sex. It's like damn. Smoke weed. We have, have a couple natural no, ices. I was, I'm just saying. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, like I, get I had, good barbecue. I was able to get, I was able to get a blood test and find out the child wasn't. This is tenth grade. Find out the child wasn't mine and not tell my mother until I was graduated high school, graduated college. So this happened in ninety seven. Nine, no, nice. How old am I? Jesus Christ. Nine ninety nine. That I had this blood test done, and I ain't tell my mother about the blood test until two thousand seven. That's Wait, crazy, bro. What was the blood test be, for? Wrap it up, B. She was talking with mine or not? Paternity? Yeah. You wait. You had. I guess I you. You got some. You didn't know who was the girl. Didn't know if it was your baby. I had more than one baby Shut scared. Up, get out of here. I am a whore. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. You had a paternity test? Yes. Are yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Yeah. He going to be wrapping it up. I'm he like to push it naked. Oh, my I'm gonna God. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. So your pull-out game must be terrible. <laughs> no, nah, he'd be all in it. Hey, it wasn't mine. If, if it was mine. It was Rockstar would be like. If, they if, call if, me Rockstar like, for a reason. If, if, they, if, oh. if, if, if the kids were mine. Wait, if, is that why they call you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, that's terrible. That's horrible. But you if know, that's why. I don't you these, want it raw? I, 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 f, I f all these girls raw, and I'm starting what I do, baby girl. <laughs> Shoot, no, um, no. <laughs> okay, like, okay. Really crazy. Oh, no, okay, 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 okay. We're definitely gonna do a sec, second episode. Um, really quick, tell them where to find you, really quick, and um, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can find me at Bella. Look, <laughs> I'm now. I'm like, that, I'm, right I'm still in the paternity thing, but um, you can. You can find me at bellamayori.com, B-E-L-L-A-M-A-O-R-I, and you can access my OnlyFans from that site. And you can reach me at Instagram at PennyCutie1920. Say that one more time for them. You say that really fast. PennyCutie1920. Okay, and you're going to find us, we're at The Burbank Misfits on Instagram, Burbank Misfits on um, Twitter, and um, the Facebook. If you want to find Mr. CW, it is Jess <laughs> underscore genetics underscore Chris for his personal page, CC Fitness LA for his business, and that is the same thing on Twitter, 
And um, on Facebook, you want to find me, I am at Raw Star on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, please tune in next week, and we're going to um, have her, you know, do another episode really quick. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, Peace. see you next week. <laughs>